might start the morning right with a cup of vinyl tap. Nothing beats the refreshing taste of a hot warm mug of vinyl tap. Enjoy your podcast in liquid form today. Vinyl tap. Enjoy responsibly. Two, one. Vinyl tap. I'm Jason. I'm Jason. I'm Jason. I'm Jason. And we just listened to the Eagles on the border. Did we? Did we all uh, listen to that? Because I can vouch for myself in that I really didn't listen to that. I tuned up for most of that. I was fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. Yeah, so I'm just jumping straight in. Cool. Yeah. I've said it. That's all I actually the need thing to say. The thing that would react the most aggressively to <laughs> is the Eagles. <laughs> Like, truth, truth be told, I, um, and I thought, you know, like, I'm with new friends, I'm going to try and be, like, polite. And I, um, and I, like, I didn't want to mention going into this that I, like, I hate the Eagles. Oh, <laughs> yes, what a big thing. Yeah. And, uh, and I, but I thought, you know what, I'm like, I'm going to behave myself today. Oh, yeah. And uh, oh, yeah. I'm like, you know what, maybe I'll go in, like, open-minded. I haven't heard this album before. I haven't really listened to a lot of the Eagles to be honest, and I thought, man, I'm just being a bit precious about it. No. And this <laughs> confirmed your belief. Stunk. Yeah. <laughs> Front to back. <laughs> And they really got me a few times with some like real sick intros. I'm like, all oh, right, yeah. this could be all right. And then straight into like cheese, Rockabilly. twelve bar, oh, do 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 shit do do. verse. Oh, I'm like, oh yeah, god, no. fucking. So damn thanks it. for bringing this, Jason, and, and allowing us to just shit on something for once. Yes, yeah, that's fine. This uh, my my hot take <laughs> on the Eagles is that they have some good songs, uh, and their greatest hits album is a good album. Uh, Ten of the twelve songs. Uh, and then they don't have an album that's like a good album as a whole. Uh, I think Hotel this, California also like almost makes it as it's, an al- It's an all right. It's album. almost a good album. Yeah, and and uh, I don't know. This, in my opinion, uh, is probably their worst album, which is an interesting choice as to why I've chosen it. But we'll find that out later on. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, so yeah, like, cause the two singles off this that are on the greatest hits album are James Dean and the, is it the best of my love? Is that the, the title of it? Yeah. The best of my love. Well, they only said it for 24 times in the <laughs> outro. If you say it enough, it becomes a hit. Apparently. <laughs> Repetition legitimizes. Uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> Um, Variation excites. <laughs> uh, so I don't disagree with any of those statements. This album sucked. <laughs> it's really fucking sucked. Like, and I'm, I feel upset, actually. <laughs> this is worse than Trout Mask Replica. No, it no. is, because at least that was, in, like, had something <laughs> well, to savor that, itself. Do you, do you have anything, Jason, to salvage this? Uh, their vocal harmonies are nice. Oh, it's a very they, trademark they, Eagles thing. Like, do, do you, you have any was... context that's going to give us a better appreciation oh, for why no. this is... <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and defend this. I didn't enjoy this either. <laughs> <laughs> you always assume that what I bring is something no, I enjoy. That's no, no, no. definitely not the case. I, I do not assume that. <clears throat> you brought mandolin serenade. Oh, oh God. Yes, I did. Uh, yeah. You and bought Pseudo Mind Hive. <laughs> that was a great album. It was. <laughs> uh... <laughs> The yeah, I I knew going into this that I would probably not like it because like I said I don't think the Eagles make great or didn't make great albums. They could have made a great jug band though. I think that they really missed out on their calling. Just being a hoot nanny. Oh, I mean, no, hoot nanny jug band. What, like... what they should have done is written more songs that weren't cliched because the songs that they wrote that weren't cliched actually sound good. But also engineer. Won't you that. let your whistle blow? <laughs> that was great. The, uh, <laughs> the back half of their catalogue is also slightly better than the first half, in my opinion, because they change up the members of the band. Yeah, I had a, I had a note in here. in the sec- By the time we got to the second track, I wrote, not Joe Walsh, question mark? Because it was at Joe this point Walsh. I realised that the guitar playing sucked. <laughs> Um, except for there was, I think there was one solo that was like pretty good. Yeah. Don, um, Don Felder is a pretty good guitarist, uh, but he's not Joe Walsh yeah. and they really get a boost out of having 
that more rock guitar in there and yeah. not yeah. just super... It was so do, 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 flat. The whole yeah. fucking thing was flat. It was really low in the there was some pretty. There was some turds. pretty okay guitar in Good Day in Hell, my favourite track title as well. Mm-hmm. Um, also, the tone shifted the tone, there. Yeah. 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 Yep. Interesting beat there. It the, sucked. The, the groove. Well. Yeah, it Doom, sucked. Gah, gah, gah. Yeah. Weird choice. Yeah. In beat. Wasn't so the guitar was skanking off on off beats, but then snare was emphasizing them as well, wasn't it? The, there was there was snare on two, three, and four, oh, which no. which in my mind is the is the tr- is like the hallmark of a drummer who knows that they play boring shit and they're like, I'm gonna do a beat that isn't like two and four. And <laughs> so I'll just so Don, Don Henley too. is going to come for you. <laughs> I also had another note here that uh, a Don Henley thing. can't drum or sing particularly well. <laughs> so why why be both at the same time? <laughs> you really want him to come after you? <laughs> I would love I would love that. I'll come at this old man. Oh fuck. Uh, yeah, yeah, wild. that wasn't good. <laughs> it was just it was so flat like good day in hell was honestly kind of the most exciting it got which is saying something because that was no, no, not no, 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 exciting no, no, no. the intro to james dean is the most exciting well it got. yeah but yeah. Like, and then eight it bars in it goes so dun, much dun. <laughs> yeah but like at least everything else is like <laughs> honest with itself you know it's just really lame cliche country jug stuff but this was like like could have been maybe a rock song maybe um but like just everything i i unfortunately didn't actually write in any details on why it was flat because it was just so hard to listen to that but it, i don't know it was like yeah maybe it's like the drums mm. there could have there was room for that to like lift and be exciting and no we just added an extra snare on three and like the guitar were like had it at a chance to like, you know, do something interesting. Best of my love. Okay, here's a good example. The guitar strumming pattern is just in perfect unison with the vocal rhythm. Like, what? Like, you aren't adding anything there. You're just adding more unison and then the same slide guitar that we've had for like the whole fucking album. And like, there's nothing exciting. No one's actually doing anything to like bring energy into it. It's just, yeah. So, shit. so this album really is a sign that the lineup needed something. I mean, there was a lot of other interpersonal things that kind of brought that about, mm. but yeah, uh, all of their later stuff does have a lot more energy and a lot more variation because they're having riffs from a different person and solos from a different person, yeah. and um, it's why you end up with Hotel California ending the way it does from having. Someone like Joe Walsh there. Yeah. Uh, I also have this theory after hearing that because not only do the songs feel flat, but they go on for a lot longer well, than they but need that's to. that's all Eagles songs. Yes. But my, my point on this is if you write enough long songs, eventually you're going to write a couple that work well being long songs. <laughs> Uh, no, <laughs> just forcing it. <laughs> Alternatively, if you write enough long songs and then cut them all in half, then you have songs that might not still be good, but are at least bearable because they're over sooner. Where does the Motown come from? Like, who brings that in? Because I noticed it crop up a couple of times and in it like seems real ham fisted. But what if sort if of sections? In uh, I had notes like Motown notes in. Uh, in the best of my love and on the border, that's yeah, like the, that that's was... there's like the, the the Motown harmonies and like a bit of the call and response, but it's like it doesn't seem to serve a purpose. It's just like someone like just likes Motown and it, like it's in there <laughs> kind of thing. It's something that works better in their other songs that yeah. are actually enjoyable songs. But that is is that a common theme for them? Like that 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 is in a lot of their yeah, other okay. stuff as well and. I think like with most of their elements, when they're on, it works pretty well. Mm -hmm. And if it was good all the time, you'd be like, oh, whatever. But Mm. for the most part, a lot of their back catalogue is filled with songs like this. Yeah, right. Yeah. (laughs) Everyone's so flat. That album has brought everyone down. (laughs) 
Fuck. I mean, like, on the border, the fucking, they clapped. Oh, my. The clap. No, that was the, like, most uplifting part the, of the album. The saving grace. Yes. I know. The coup like, de grace. Far out. I mean, it what is did a I weird say? choice. Oh, really like, weird on the border choice. is probably... No, no, it was no, no, it was one of the more interesting no, songs. Really? No, it fucking it sucked. Was. It no. had it had a, a bass line that did something slightly vaguely interesting. <laughs> had an interval at one point. It was pretty cool. <laughs> an <laughs> interval. <laughs> and like you know, they like the call and response in the storyteller style, agonizing is what I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> That's my notes for this song, but it wasn't the worst out of all of them. It was weird, though. It felt like it was trying to, like, tell a story, and like you say, ham-fisted. It, like, had all these, like, musical tropes to, like, try and, and like... What was it? It was, like, have it, like, they were, like, border officer voices, and then... Oh, uh, you're like, in some trouble, boy. We know where you've been. Blah, yeah, blah, blah. Like, what we, the... Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Oh, shit. The lyrics <laughs> if, if, were all just so fucking bad. If you are lactose intolerant, avoid this album. Yeah, it's actually. Full of cheese. And, like, my man. Okay, like, you, like that was so disappointing that it is. I hated this. So I, far, once, wait, wait, wait. I once knew no, no. a very talented guy. He'd sing to people and make them cry. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want the context as to who they're singing about? I'd, I'd yeah, love right. to. I'd uh, love to know who's death we're shitting It's a on. tribute to Graham Parsons. Who was in the birds mm. and the flying burrito brothers? Yeah, oh. which is where the line, what is it? Uh, like a flower, he bloomed till that old hickory wind called him home. Because it's a line from the Jesus. birds' groundbreaking album, the. Which one is it? Sweetheart of the Rodeo. Right. Imagine if someone commemorated you like that. You'd be rolling in your grave. <laughs> Oh, it just yeah. wasn't good. It's just not good. What? All the way they commemorated James Dean. Oh yeah. no! Something about James Dean. Uh, too too uh, fast to live young to to die. Bye bye. He yeah. died or something like. God damn. Live for, live too fast. Die too young. Something or other. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. Uh, wondering who he might be, along came a spider and picked up a rider, <laughs> took him down the road to eternity. Wait, what? Really? Yeah, I, I skipped the first line because no. it was shit, but that was. <laughs> they actually said, along came a spider. Along came a spider no. and picked up a rider, took him down the road to eternity. Like, it, every time I tuned in, it was like that. It was like this <laughs> fucking, like. Fucking baby like, music. Yeah, like 10, 11 year old rhymes. Like, you know, like, oh, wow. You can, like, rhyme shit if it ends the same, you know, like, flat hat. Whoa, there we go. Let's make a verse now. I, I was feeling flat <laughs> until I put, until on, I my put on my hat. And now the eagles have me really shat. Like. <laughs> And then, uh, and then the slide guitar would come in like this fucking, uh, just to rub it in, the fucking nastiness, get in there, smell it, smell the shit, yeah, you fucking take it, yeah, far out. I, I actually just couldn't listen to as an album experience. It was really tough. It's like maybe I could do it if it was like like singles. Delivered in short chunks over the period of my entire lifetime. <laughs> like I said, I also think... I am one of these songs every three years. <laughs> you're listening to potentially some of the worst songs that they've written back to back. Yeah, and it was like... The, like You could put it in any fucking order, it doesn't matter. <laughs> They're all just... <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to stop I, talking. Somebody I else can... learnt that uh, if <laughs> I was, that bad? <laughs> uh, was alive in the 70s, I'm probably not an Eagles fan. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like their greatest hits, but I really do not like their back catalogue. And if this is what they were releasing every time, I'd be like... Mm. Yeah. Imagine looking mm. forward to the new album of that, <laughs> of that band you really like. And this is what they come I, out I was with. sitting there listening to this, I thought, is there a person... And, and you know, the, the world's so big that there's <laughs> almost an example of anything happening. But, like, is there a person... <laughs> this is their one of, one of Like, one of these songs is like, oh, man, I just love old 55. <laughs> <laughs> like, is there, is there a song on this that's someone's 
everyone's favourite song. Uh, James Dean and The Best of My Love make their greatest hits, so they're popular for enough people. Wow. But they're, they're shit. Oh, the intro yeah, was Titan James Dean. Oh, that was great. Yeah, that's that's the that reason it's on the greatest hits album. <laughs> Best of My Love is um, long. It's long, but outside of being long, it's not that bad compared to the others. Well, yeah, but it's easy to bend under a limbo bar that's six feet high. Yeah. I thought the harmonies in that outro were pretty good. Yeah, they were, yeah. Remember that dance and extended? Mm. Yeah. I really love pretty the chord when they do the oh, 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 oh moment in that song. Oh, you mean the half diminished chord? Is that what it is? Of course yeah. it is. I mean, that's that's why for me that's my favourite song of the album. Literally because that of that, chord. that That one chord. chord. That one chord. Uh, if you want Jason to love your song, put a half to F minus six. You're good to go. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, there right. are some interesting chords across the album, but fuck <laughs> <laughs> No, no. Where are they? Oh, fine. Well, they do that a few times. The, the, the four minus six. Uh, uh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Rogers. So it, it it happens in Is It True and they replace it with the four minus seven later on. It's like a spooky note spooky. that it's like a little higher than you expected it to be because they changed it from earlier on. That was all right, good for you. Then what else do we have? You you had a, there was a chord change which was Ooh. I think it was actually in, in the first song. Yeah, yeah, already gone. Um, chord change it, or the, the key there's change? There's a key, key change. change sorry. But so the song's in G, and when you're like, oh, there's going to be a key change, it's an Eagles song from the 70s. Oh, we're going to go up a tone, right? No, we go up a fourth. Is that the, like, the, was this some um, Good Day in Hell, that truck driver key change? It's no, no, totally no. unnecessary. No, no, no. Oh, no, that, <laughs> that fucking hits you like a ton, sucks. <laughs> that hits you like a ton oh of bricks. Oh, my God. <laughs> truck really fell truck off the, driver key yeah, change. Really That's fell nice off way. the couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one annihilated me. Oh, that that's a Disney key change, but without any of the like build up or <laughs> grandiosity. It's just yeah. like, da da, and we're there now. But the one in already gone is actually kind of interesting because like it goes up a fourth, but because the melody was in G and G is a chord tone in C, um, it doesn't actually change the melody too much. It's just that the chord around the melody, which is a Eagles thing to do, it just shifts around, and that was that was kind of fucking interesting. So I was like, oh, all right, this album might have something to no. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was the third single from the album. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, what were the, the chords in the chorus of um, You Something Like a Lover, the second track? Never Cry Like a Lover. You Never Cry Like a Lover. The chorus? There was some like Harrison, oh, that was like Harrison progression thing. Yeah, going um, on so it, it was nice. C, then D major over C, so D7 technically, and then the F minus 6 over C, and then back to C. So it was 1, yeah. 2 major. Four minor one, which is pretty fucking interesting. It was interesting. So like, I hated it. But like, <laughs> no, no, but like I hated on this a lot. But like, I think it's there are these moments that come out, and I don't know. It feels like you could all, they could write music for like a musical, in a way. Like that's kind of the impression that I get because it's so obvious. They really write or like to like a TV show mm. or like something like mm. a soundtrack for something like that, right? Because it's just very like yep we're gonna do this thing now here it is it does sound Ta-da. like people have burst into song on a musical stage yeah a bit like that but it's also not necessarily it doesn't use it enough use those elements so like uh minor four one like one two minor four one is a really really cool progression which gives your melody a lot of room to work in terms of like leading notes and get tension and you know that sort of stuff right but they didn't do that no. here. Um, they just had the, the the chords built some tension and the melody was pretty just flat over the top of that, which I think is kind of my big gripe with the whole thing is that like all of this could have worked, but there just wasn't quite enough done with it. Just, you know, most of the moving parts here weren't doing the thing that they needed to do. Um, Engineer by your whistle. Yeah, we we but like I mean like maybe that could have been a cooler and it was actually like when they did the ooh, 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 yeah. like it's a cool effect and like it's fucking dumb yeah you know it paints the picture and it's really fucking obvious but like the rest of the everything that went with that song just didn't lend to it right so it just ended up being an actual joke um, instead of like oh wow that was like a cool bit of textural painting. Mm. 
That was dumb as hell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that that woo woo, yeah, like, because no, it's like a train noise. No, uh, <laughs> I, like I no, but I noise. but I thought that the banjo intro and outros were sick. Like whoever yeah, was playing, than, whoever yeah. was playing the banjo, like was a real bluegrass player. That was cool. That was really well done. And then they fucked it in the verse immediately. <laughs> yeah, immediately. Yep. Sure. So your uh, intro into the Eagles has been the the worst possible thing it could have been. I'm never going to listen to them again. <laughs> Click above to find out what else we've listened to this month. Click below to support the artists we just listened to. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our next episode.